to be back. I mean, it's been a strange, you know, two years, a year and a half now, and uh, uh, obviously getting back to what I used to do for a living in a way, and uh, getting that familiarity back. But I think overall, I feel refreshed, I feel renewed, and now it's time to get back after it again. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a, a lot of new players, you know, compared to our 2019 team. I mean, a, a lot. So. You know, I think we've got probably 20 sophomores and juniors in the squad, so uh, it's going to be in enjoyable to try and help this group, uh, you know, compete and see who develops in the programme and hopefully we continue with the momentum we had in 2019. I think how we did in 2019, getting to the NSA tournament, looking at it now, I think we know we have a whole new team. We graduated a lot of important players, a lot of good players, but um, we just know it's a whole new group and we're all hungry, we're all super motivated. We all know we really haven't proved much and we still have so much to prove. So, but hopefully we can help with some of the experience from some of the past players like myself and Melina, but everybody's motivated to get going right away. I mean, it's good to have some experienced players. And like I said, we just have to teach the way uh, that we do things around here to the young guys. I think that's the biggest difference. Um, but uh, as, as I think as the season goes, goes by, Everybody will just mesh together and, and you know we'll feel like a family. I think we all know as coaches we can go 19 and 2, but it, it depends who you play. And then uh, if you really want to go to the tournament, you've got to play good teams, and, it, and it's difficult to, to win at the automatic bid. It's, you know, it's particularly difficult in the Centennial League. So, you know, I think taking advantage of the strength of the Centennial League, and then taking a, a good out of conference schedule to give you a you know. A, uh, strength of schedule which puts you in the picture for, for an, uh, an at-large bid and invitation. I think that's very important so uh, that might affect your record. It might not look as pretty as you might want but it puts you in a, a chance to do it and you're playing good teams and I, I think if you're going to be real about it you've got to do that. And uh, So we play a very good schedule. I think you know some really good teams in it and we do that purposefully uh, because we tell the team you know our desire is to go to the national tournament and progress in it. And so to do that, we need to play uh, one heck of a schedule, and we do. There's only five teams I'm not making the playoffs, so it's when it comes down to it, at least one or two good teams are really getting left off there. We had the team that finished sixth, they missed the conference playoffs. They end up getting in that large bid in the uh, NCAA tournament, which just shows how strong the league is. But uh, it's super competitive. Every game is like a war. Every game is like a is its own game for sure, and every game super competitive. And I think that was a huge reason why we got in that large bid in the 2019 fall, because we played such a tough schedule, playing some of the best teams in the country uh, week in week out. So I think benefit from being in Centennial a lot. What I like the most about this team is uh, when it's time to have fun, we can have fun. But when we know it's time to work, we really uh, we work. Uh, there's no playing around. Uh, we're serious about what we're trying to do here. Uh, we take every game very seriously, uh, and we have, like I said, high goals for this team, and uh, we just got to put in the work. When it comes to work, we work really hard.